Hey, what's up y'all? This is Andrea with your 15 minute hourglass workout. No equipment needed in this one. So just grab a yoga mat, a water bottle, and let's get to shaping up y'all. Okay, I'm, I'm talking about curvy. I wanna see waves. I wanna see up and down, side to side. Let's go. All right, welcome back to your safest space on the internet to get fit from home. Excited to have you, excited to be going through this hourglass figure workout. We will be moving through five different moves. We'll do each move three times each for 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest before moving on. And we'll be focusing on your back, your shoulders, your waist, and your glutes. All right, we're not going to be focusing on reconstructing your bones or anything like that because that is what an hourglass figure is. We're just going to focus on giving the illusion because it's an illusion after all all right your affirmation today is my body is a work of art love your body it looks good okay just how it is we're just making it a little bit better every single day right, i'll show you the first move we are going to go for a side lunge plus abduction so side lunge step out with your right foot first come in and abduct two one let's go so push the hip back come up and this is going to be all about the glutes for this one. So get a little bit of upper and side glute with the single leg squat type of movement. And just know with having an hourglass figure, it really is about focusing in on the muscles that matter when we are exaggerating that figure. So that means having broader shoulders, smaller waist, bigger glutes. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Good job. And I'll bring y'all a lot of these hourglass figure workouts. I'm gonna do one with equipment as well, so with some dumbbells. But I'm telling y'all, if you really want it, you really need to focus on those three parts. Two, one. Now I'm just lunging with my left and kicking with my left. A lot of people are always asking like, how can I get bigger um, like side glutes? They're side glutes because they have hip dips. Hip is a bone. So you can't really restructure that, but what you can do is eat the right amount of protein, right amount of macros, right amount of calories, and then try to really work on that side glute. All right, so we're not being delusional over here, okay? We are creating an illusion. Two, one. Okay, so we'll split this last time in half, so we'll go about 22 seconds on the right, and then we'll go the other 22 on the left, okay? Let's go in last time, and then we go to the next movement. Three, two, one. Step it out. Really try and get low, but keep your chest up. Got it. And when I really started to change, see changes in my own body was when I started to eat correctly. Let's go two, one. We're just gonna switch it over to the other side. So when I really prioritized my protein, when I really started calculating how many calories I was eating and paying attention to eating more intentionally, that's when I started to get a little thicky. I was like, okay, okay, I know what we're doing now. Three, two, one, good job. Head down to the mat, we're going to go for some back. This is a great, great workout if you're trying to create hourglass, okay? So we're gonna come up, pull it down, reach it back forward, then relax, okay? Two, one, so come up, squeeze everything, your glutes, your legs, and ever you pull down, I want you to really be squeezing back and your chest should come up just a little bit more when you squeeze. This upper back, it's really, really important to work your lats. So important. Fifteen. Let's 
Go five, four, three, two, one. Good job. And if lifting your legs by squeezing your glutes is a little bit too difficult right now, don't worry about that. Try just really lift up here and you can keep your legs relaxed, okay? Two, one, round two, let's go. So this is very concentrated. Each movement we're doing, working it for a little bit longer instead of doing like a set to where we're going in between movements. So I really wanna concentrate on whatever motion and whatever muscles we're working for that exercise. Fifteen. And you're just pulling some down. Let's go three, two, one. Okay, one more time, one more time. You feel your back getting stronger. Think about having a pencil in between your shoulder blades and you're just trying to squeeze that pencil with your life whenever you come down from that Superman, okay? Last time, two, one, up, squeeze, and down. And if you do movements like this, if you do workouts like this, and you are eating correctly, I promise you, you're gonna see so much changes in your body, so many changes. And once the body weight gets to be a little bit repetitive or you don't feel as challenged, then try to buy you know, a five pound pair of dumbbells. If you don't already have dumbbells, you know, you can just progressively work like that. But good news is you're getting started. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now we're just gonna flip it over. We're gonna go for a combo move, a little bit of ab and glutes. You're gonna give me a sit up, sit all the way up, reach back, and then bridge. Okay, two, one. So I sit up, come down, and then I bridge. And if it's too much on your arms right here, of course you could just be here and give me a, um, a regular glute bridge, okay? So this just gives me a little bit more range of motion having my arms behind me. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one, good job. Okay, two more times. Let me just demonstrate the modification for you. If you need to, just give me a crunch and then bridge, crunch and bridge, you can go there. All right, and then progress to the sit up. Two, one, let's go. Reach it up. And you can kind of use your hands as your momentum for this move, but I'm keeping my hands above my chest when I go down here. And roll it back slowly, intentionally. And really squeeze at the top. Squeeze, then come down. 10 seconds. Two. One, okay, one more round. Whew. Really feel that in the abs and core is what you should be working on as well. But that's with whatever kind of body shape you want. Core is important, right, regardless. Two, you heard it here first. One, let's go. Sit up, last time. So if you're in the gym and you're thinking about, I really want an hourglass shape, I want you to think about those three body parts. I want you to think about your back. I want you to think about your core, your waist, however you want to say it. And then your booty, your booty, your glutes. And then structure your workout around that. Even if you want to use my channel and say, okay, I'll do an upper body, a glute and a ab workout. You can do that. 
five, two, one. Good job. Let's roll it on up. We're gonna go for a reverse lunge and twist. So getting those obliques involved and then reverse lunge for those glutes, okay? So I'm gonna go reverse lunge and I'm gonna turn towards the leg that's in front. All right, let's go. Reverse lunge, turn. I'm gonna alternate this whole round, right? Reverse and turn. Nice tight core. And if reversing is too much, if you need to step it out forward, you can do that. Or if you need to keep that back leg straight and then twist that way, wherever you at, you know I got options. Almost there. Five, two, one. Good job, grab some water. We got that two more times and then we just have one more move, all right? Beautiful work, you're killing it. I just know you're killing it. Two, one, let's go. I'm sorry, let's only step back with the right leg this whole round. So concentrating on that left leg, that's in front, feeling that glute. And then next round, we'll do right leg. Give me a good old twist. Get down there first, and your knee doesn't have to touch the ground, okay? Just go wherever your body allows you. That's gonna be different for everybody. Five, two, one. Okay, last time we're gonna go on our right leg keeping it in front, stepping back with the left. Okay, big old twist. Let's go in three, two, one, let's go. And I'm kind of just tapping my back leg so I'm not necessarily putting all of my weight on both feet at any time during this movement. I'm really just trying to keep all my weight on that right leg while we're working it. Come on. Now keep that chest up. 15 seconds. Five. Two. One. Okay, one more move. You are going to still have your arms above your head. We're gonna go for a good morning. We're just gonna go and move our right leg first. So give me a hinge. Feet are about shoulder width apart. You abduct, you step out, sumo squat. Bring it back in, let's go. So imagine you have a weight behind your head. Hinge it back, step it out, sumo squat. It's the last move, y'all. And just remember when you step it out here, I want your weight in the middle of your body, then squat. So not a side lunge. Come on. Killing it, killing it. 10. Three, two, one, okay, and we go to the other side two more times. So I want you to think about how you can step this up. I want you to think about how you can concentrate a little bit more, get a little bit more rep in, however you can. Two, one, right now I'm abducting with my left, still squatting in the middle. Your knees are slightly bent. Oops, sorry. Confused by stuff a little bit, but your knees are slightly bent when you do that. Good morning. Ten seconds. 
And this move, if you're practicing on your deadlifts, that good morning is so good for your posture. Two, one. Because a lot of times whenever we're doing our deadlifts, we're here. So if you can keep your arms here and really concentrate on straightening your back, see how that works? <laughs> it's gonna really improve that movement pattern. All right, let's start with the right leg and then we'll move on to the left, okay? So right here, one more time. Let's go ahead and finish out this whole minute. We'll go 30 seconds on this leg for that step out sumo. And then we'll go 30 seconds to the right or vice versa. <laughs> we got it. Let's go three, two, one. Okay, left leg, last time. I wanna start with my abduction so bad. I have no idea why. Come on, 10 seconds y'all, we can do this. One more, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, congratulations on completing that hourglass workout. Grab some water if you need it. You should be very proud, I'm proud of you. Just remember, like I said in the beginning with your affirmation, that your body is a work of art. Okay, I don't care if some days you look in the mirror and you don't like what you see. You need to know that at every given moment that that painting is in the work. It is a, um, a, um, a rough draft, okay? But it is beautifully created to help you maneuver throughout your day, to help you do exercises like this, okay? To go out in the world and express yourself. Your body is a work of art. Appreciate it, love it, know that it is worth it, and know that you deserve any Anything and everything that life has to bring you. Okay, if you enjoyed this workout, please subscribe to the Peace of Fitness channel, I'll bring you workouts just like these, anywhere from five to 15 to 30 minutes. Okay, I want to build this community out. I want all of us to go up together. So if you're watching this video, please subscribe. Um, at this point, I'm only a couple away from a thousand, so that is a very big milestone. If you know anything about YouTube, so go ahead and do that for your girl. Share it with your family and friends. Let them have this amazing feeling that you do whenever you are walking away from this workout and like tell me what you'd like to see in the future and besides that let's do my little dance great job y'all let's get this hourglass okay uh uh all right how about y'all peace